Hi, welcome to The Magic of Math, where we're going to master math one more video today. Today, our video lesson is on solving absolute value equations. These are advanced, so multi-step absolute value equations. The previous video in this playlist is about solving absolute value equations in general. So if you haven't already done a little bit of solving absolute value equations, you're going to want to watch the previous video before this one. So today we're going to solve absolute value equations by isolating absolute value expressions. The question I want you thinking about today is how can you use what you know about solving a linear equation to solve an absolute value equation? So we're going to make connections to the steps that we've learned about previously solving linear equations also in this playlist. So let's look at this absolute value equation. I have the absolute value expression of 3x plus 9 subtract 10 equals negative 4. So what's different about these equations than the ones I showed you in the previous video is that before you can write your two equations to solve the absolute value equation, you must first isolate the absolute value expression. So let's be clear, the absolute value expression is just that. It's the expression inside the absolute value signs. And before you can do anything to solve this, when we split it into two, we have to isolate it. Meaning we have to use inverse operations to get this on the side of the equal sign all by itself. So I'm going to do the inverse of subtract 10 and add 10 to both sides, which gives me my absolute value expression of 3x plus 9 is equal to 6. Negative 4 plus 10 is 6. Now I know that the absolute value of this expression must be equal to 6. So that tells me that what is inside of here can be equal to 6 and it can be equal to negative 6 because the absolute value of negative 6 is 6. So let's solve our two equations. We're going to subtract 9 from each side, giving me 3x equals negative 3, divide both sides by 3, and x is equal to negative 1. And we're going to solve for the second solution. We're going to subtract 9 from each side. 3x equals negative 15. Divide both sides by 3. And x equals negative 5. So our solutions are negative 1 and negative 5. Let's check. If I replace x with negative 1, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Plus 9 is 6. The absolute value of 6 is 6. 6 subtract 10 is negative 4. Now let's check our solution of negative 5. 3 multiplied by negative 5 is negative 15. Negative 15 plus 9 is negative 6. The absolute value of negative 6 is 6. 6 subtract 10 is negative 4. So they both check. Your turn. I'd like you to pause, solve, and return when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So our solution is to remember that we first must isolate the absolute value expression. So to get the absolute value of x plus 7 all alone, I'm going to do the inverse of subtract 6 and add 6 to both sides, giving me the absolute value of x plus 7 is equal to 14. So now I know what is inside the absolute value signs can be equal to 14 and negative 14. So we'll solve the first one by subtracting 7 from both sides and x equals 7. And subtract 7 from both sides and x is equal to negative 21. So my solutions are 7 and negative 21. And we can check. 7 plus 7 is 14. The absolute value of 14 is 14. 14 subtract 6 is 8. Negative 21 plus 7 is going to give me negative 14. The absolute value of negative 14 is positive 14, and 14 minus 6 is 8. So they both check. Try another one. Go ahead and pause. Come back when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So I'm going to isolate my absolute value expression by adding 2 to both sides, giving me the absolute value of 12 plus 3x is equal to negative 12. And hopefully you didn't get caught here. The absolute value of this expression 
will never be negative 12. So I have no solution. So make sure you're checking that. The absolute value of something is always positive. Now we're going to look at more complex absolute value equations. Remember, they're absolute value equations because they contain the absolute value signs within the equation. But this one's going to require multi steps to isolate my absolute value expression. So you may have to perform more than one inverse operation as you do with this. So let's go ahead. So here's my absolute value expression that I need to isolate. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract 2 from both sides, leaving me negative 4 times the absolute value of 2x plus 3 equals negative 20. Now, this is negative 4 multiplied by the absolute value of 2x plus 3. So to undo multiply, the inverse is to divide both sides by negative 4. Negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1, leaving me just my absolute value. Negative 20 divided by negative 4 is positive 5. Now I'm ready to make my two equations because I know that 2x plus 3 can be positive 5 and it can be negative 5. So here are my two equations. So I'm going to solve the first one, subtract 3 from both sides, 2x equals 2, divide both sides by 2, and x equals 1. Let's solve the second. I'm going to subtract 3 from each side so that 2x equals negative 8, divide both sides by 2, and x equals negative 4. So my solutions are 1 and negative 4, and we can check. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3 is 5. The absolute value of 5 is 5. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. Negative 20 plus 2 is negative 18. Now let's try negative 4. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. The absolute value of negative 5 is 5. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20 plus 2 is negative 18. Now I do want to point out that this entire expression right here is equal to negative 18, but it's not the absolute value by itself that's equal to a negative value. So once we isolate the absolute value expression, we discover that it's equal to positive 5. So don't be um, misled. Don't jump to conclusions and see because there's an absolute value equation and it's equal to negative 18, then say no solution. The only time it'll be no solution is when you've isolated the absolute value expression and if that is equal to a negative value. Your turn. Pause. Come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So first you had to isolate the absolute value expression. I hope you subtracted 1 from each side. 4 times the absolute value of 2x minus 3 is equal to 20. Then we're going to divide both sides by 4 and the absolute value of 2x minus 3 is equal to 5. Now I'm going to write my two equations because I understand that the absolute value can be positive and negative 5 to equal 5. So my first equation equal to 5 and my second equal to negative 5. Let's solve the first. I'm going to add 3 to both sides. 2x is equal to 8, divide both sides by 2, and x equals 4. Solve the second add 3 to both sides, 2x equals negative 2, divide both sides by 2, and x is equal to negative 1. So we have our solution, 4 and negative 1. Let's check them. 2 times 4 is 8, 8 subtract 3 is 5, the absolute value of 5 is 5, times 4 is 20, plus 1 is 21. Let's check negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, Negative 2 subtract 3 is negative 5. The absolute value of negative 5 is 5. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 1 is 21. It checks. So there you have it. That's how we solve absolute value equations. I'm calling it advanced, but they're multi-step absolute value equations where you must isolate the absolute value expression before you can split it into two equations for your two solutions. So. Thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we're mastering math one video at a time. I hope you'll subscribe and register for notifications, and have a great day.